Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this cute buddy using inexpensive items for under $5. So I started with this piece of cut out wood that I got from Hobby Lobby. I have been trying to find it at Dollar Tree. There was one that was similar at Dollar Tree that was a thinner wood, but I could not find it. I went to three different Dollar Trees. I could not find it. This one is a little thicker and a little sturdier, and I got it on sale for $3.49, so I think it was worth it. It came with this little tail on it that I thought was a little too small for what I wanted. Okay, so I found this bunny tail at Dollar Tree, and it's actually like a little clip. So all you have to do is take that little clip off and hot glue it right down where the other little bunny tail was at. I, the little bunny tail is cute, but I wanted something bigger. I wanted him to have a, a bigger booty and I thought it would be cute to use this one. So I'm just going to tear this off. I'm not gonna worry about getting the glue that's on there like pulled up because I'm not even going to that's not going to be showing I'm going to be gluing the bunny tail right over top of it with some hot glue and you won't even be able to tell where that was at and I'm just going to cut this clip off and cut the little tag and then it's good to go So isn't that cute? I think it'll be cute with the bigger tail. Okay, so first I'm going to faux stain my bunny with some acrylic paint. You can use any paint. I didn't have any cheap acrylic paint, so I'm using some from Golden. I think it's a raw umber. Um, you can just use any dark brown. And I'm going to thin it out really good with water and then just paint it on with a brush. So you see how I have it like really, really thin. And it's best to go with the grain of the wood. So mine is going horizontal, so I'm painting horizontal. And it goes on really easy. It goes on looking like stain. It brings out all the beautiful um, grain of the wood. And I think it looks really pretty. I was going to stain it first, well faux stain it, and then go over it with a dry brush with white paint to make it look really distressed, but I ended up liking just the brown wood. I thought it looked really pretty and the contrast with the white tail, um, I just, I, I really liked it. So that's what I ended up going with, but you could do either or, or you could just paint the whole bunny white. Or pink or whatever color you want. And I'm going over with a second coat of my paint to make it a little darker. The acrylic paint dries very quickly. So that was another reason I wanted to use the paint instead of a stain because it dries so quick. So it was so easy and look how pretty it looks. So here are the flowers I ended up going with. I wanted the smaller flowers because I wanted to put more across than just three. So I chose the same colors, but I'm using a smaller flower. And all I'm doing is I'm gonna hot glue the flowers down. So I'm starting with the one in the middle so I can kind of center them up. 
and I'm going I'm putting them in a slight curve to make it kind of look like a necklace a little bit. And I'm making a little gap in between each one because I have an even smaller rose I'm going to put in between each of the flowers. So there's so many options and flowers you could use to make this look, you know, totally different and to match your decor style or the colors in your house. And that already looks pretty, but I'm going to add in these smaller little white flowers. And at first I was going to put two in between each one, but decided I didn't like that. So it probably would have been okay, but I decided to just put one flower in between each one. And I thought putting the lighter color flowers in between gave it a little more contrast between the other flowers. And I don't want to put that pink one in there, so I'm trying to find another color, a lighter color. Up and look, I, my flower fell apart. So I'm going to re glue it back down. The bottom, the plastic part came apart from it because it was cut. So I'm going to use this other, this is another uh, thing of flowers that I got from Michael's in my $5 grab bag and this grab bag was filled to the brim with flowers. So I can't even tell you how much I actually ended up paying in the end for just one bundle of flowers. It wasn't much because that big um, box for $5, I mean, it, it was practically free, This the bundle. So I, I went with this, um, it's like a light, I couldn't find any more white, so it's like a really pale yellow. And I thought that looked pretty with the bunny tail. I like the contrast of it. And you could also um, go ahead and put a, put a sealant on the wood to make it shiny, but I went ahead and decided I didn't want to do that. And then now I'm going to put a little, it just felt like it was missing something. So I went back and I had taken pictures at Hobby Lobby of all of their finished pieces. And I saw a bunny that had a little bow on its ear. So I was like, I've got to have a bow on my bunny's ear. And so I went and I found my twine. I am not the best bow maker. I just tie it like I would my shoe. And I'm just gonna glue it up there on its ear. And isn't that cute? This was so simple, it cost me under $5. And look how cute that turned out. I'm really happy with how the whole thing turned out. It's so pretty. It looks so farmhouse and rustic. I really love it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want more crafts like this and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!